Look at Psalm 92. It would behoove you, I think, to read the entire chapter at whatever point when you get home, but I just want to deal with verses 12 through 15 at this particular point. Oh, heavens, we've got to start with at least verse 1. It is good to give thanks to the Lord and sing praises to your name, O Most High, to declare your loving kindness in the morning and your faithfulness every night. Ooh, isn't that good? Yes, we always praise the Lord. We always walk in worship before him because praise is what stops the enemy. Hallelujah. Praise is an act of faith. Praising the Lord God in all circumstances. But let's jump down to verse 12. Here it is. The righteous shall flourish like a palm tree. He shall grow like a cedar in Lebanon. Those who are planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God. They shall still bear fruit in old age. They shall be fresh and flourishing to declare that the Lord is upright. He is my rock and there is no unrighteousness in him. I'm giving you a prophetic declaration now that on one hand, There is the hammer of justice the lion's army is dishing up against Satan in America. And we will win. But on the other hand, there is a reward. And the Lord spoke to me and he called it flourishing. He said the body of Christ and particularly the lion's army will flourish. This will be a summer of miracles, of great deliverances, of the work of God blessing his people, loving his people in so many different ways, covenant fulfillment in his people. But he said, your word for the week is flourish. And so every day, CK and I have been walking around the house talking about flourishing, that we will flourish that the people of God are flourishing. And I'm going to read that again, a couple of points. Verse 12. The righteous shall flourish like a palm tree. He shall grow like a cedar in Lebanon, the strength. Those who are planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of God. So it's flourishing in the natural realm, and flourishing in the spiritual realm. And the increasing, I keep talking to you about how that we're at a point to where we have increased numerically to the largest remnant that the earth has ever seen. And we are flourishing. The lion's army is flourishing. The spirit-filled people of God are flourishing. In 1906, there was 2.5% of the body of Christ uh, filled with the Holy Spirit. They're already born again, but filled with the baptism of the Holy Spirit and practicing charismatic gifts, tongues, healings. Now, 2023... It is well over 50% of all of the believers on this earth speak in tongues. We are flourishing. And those who have risen up in power and with all of the teaching of third heaven authority and everything else that's coming to pass, they are flourishing. Keep reading. 14. They shall steer still bear fruit in old age. They shall be fresh and flourishing. The Lord said to speak that promise over those in the lion's army and the body of Christ who at this particular point are feeling like They're getting older. Well, around here, 
You've got the supernatural anointing for youth. Praise God. Get ready for the refreshing that comes in the flourishing. The strength that comes in the flourishing. The fruit that you are going to bear in your flourishing. 15. To declare the righteousness, to declare that the Lord is upright. He is my rock and there is no unrighteousness in him. Stand on your feet with me.